Hi folks, nice from HanaAndroid.com, where we get <laughs> on Android every day. Anyway, I know some of you are wondering how fast exactly the Galaxy Note 4 is. Um, so let's actually go ahead and do some benchmark tests uh, along with uh, several other phones uh, like the OnePlus One and the Galaxy S5, uh, which has the older 801 processor. Uh, but this one should tell us how much faster it is. So let's go do this, baby. <sighs> All right, let's do this, folks. First, we're gonna go ahead and do the quadrant test for all of them. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure no apps are running uh, for all of these, and also for this one also. They're all running stock software, uh, the Note 3, Android 4.4.4, KitKat, Galaxy S5, Android 4.4.2. Also, the OnePlus One is running the latest 4.4.4 KitKat. So let me go ahead and run quadrant first. Uh, we'll do other tests also. Um, and let's run these bad boys. None of these have been uh, overclocked or anything like that. And they're just running the stock gigahertz um, frequency. And uh, if you do overclock the Galaxy S5, you could probably make, uh, make it faster than the Galaxy Note 4. Um, so that's the Note 4, Galaxy S5, and the OnePlus One. And I actually did this test already, and uh, it seems like the Note 4 is lagging. Um, it's actually, actually OnePlus One actually came out on top on most of these tests. And I believe that's because of the larger screen. I mean, it really slows down the processor because there's a lot more to process, obviously. Uh, it's four times more resolution, I think, or twice or four times, I think. There we go. Let's go look at the benchmark results. Let me stop talking. Um, here we go. So the Note 4 actually did better this time, uh, winning with 25,384 with uh, OnePlus One actually doing third there. And uh, the most important numbers to look at is actually the numbers down here. Uh, the CPU numbers, um, the Note 4 clearly wins. Sorry, let me go ahead and adjust my camera here. It's probably too bright. And you'll be able to see the numbers now. There we go. Um, you'll be able to see 25,380, oh, sorry, 94,186 uh, versus 90,382 and 90,677. That's probably the most important number uh, we want to look. Um, the memory, not so much, but the CPU, obviously, uh, with the 805 processor, you're going to get um, some nice upgrades. So in this test, the Note 4 wins. Obviously, it's supposed to. And let's go ahead and go ahead to the next test. And I'm going to go ahead and just run straight into N22 here. And I'm, I'm just going to run straight here. Here we go. And those are the numbers I got last time. But, uh, you know, the numbers may differ a little bit every time you do it. Uh, but, uh, you know, it should be pretty accurate. And I'm going to go ahead and fast forward all of this. Because you probably don't want to watch this. All right, I would say N22 is way more accurate than N22. And clearly, as you can see here, um, the OnePlus One wins. Um, this is a surprising result. Uh, but uh, you do have to think about the Quad HD screen, uh, which probably requires more processing power. Um, that could be the reason behind it. But uh, I just did the latest update to the 4.4.4 update. Also, the software on the OnePlus One, the latest 4.4.4 update, uh, might have something to do with it. Maybe perhaps improve the graphic drivers or something. Uh, but let's go ahead and look at the details here. And probably the most important numbers to look for is the CPU multi-thread and single thread. Um, here, multi-thread, you can see the OnePlus One just killing everybody else. Uh, that is very interesting. Uh, but again, that could be due to the resolution on the screen, uh, which is, I think, almost uh, two or four times. Sorry, I can't do the math at late night here. Um, but uh, you can see 3D, 3D graphics, the Note 4 uh, won up by a little bit. Also, storage I.O., uh, about the same for both of these. The S5 falling uh, quite behind. And also, another note to, um, to tell you, the stock uh, software on these phones 
I have different governors. Um, it could be that this is on demand uh, versus, I know this is on interactive by default, so that could have something to do with the results. I may do another test uh, with them all doing, uh, you know, at full performance, the full um, CPU frequency that they can do. Um, but uh, I think these are pretty accurate. Even if you did it, you might get the same numbers as you can see. You got 2.649 gigahertz, 2.457 gigahertz, and the one plus one just kills them all. That is amazing. Um, let's go ahead and do the next test. All right, in this next test, we're gonna try uh, another test called Velamo. Is that what it's called? Um, there we go. And let's actually bookmark uh, the multi-core, which measures the multi-core operation of the Snapdragon 805 versus 801 and 801. These two actually have the same processor. I don't know why the a one plus one is just kicking ass today. Here we go. Whoops. There we go. And on we go. All right, in this test with multi-core, uh, the one plus one actually won, and the Note 4 followed by the S5. All right, let me go ahead and do another test here. And we're go we'll go ahead and do another test uh, with the single core test. And go to the metal test. I believe this is the single operation. There we go. And let's go ahead and try the metal single operation uh, test here and see what kind of results we get. But it is very interesting to note that one plus one is just kicking ass today. All right, that was a pretty quick test, as you can see. Um, in this test with the single core or single application, uh, single process, sorry, um, the metal test, the note four one. Sorry, I keep getting confused with the Note 3. Note 4 followed by the OnePlus One and the Galaxy S5 just lagging way behind. But uh, that could be because uh, the my Galaxy S5 is still running 4.4.2 until AT&T decides to update. Um, there we go. And let's do one more test here. Uh, we'll do a browser test. And let me go ahead and go here. And we'll do um, tests with just, uh, we'll do a test with the stock browser or the Chrome browser. All right, let's do actually with Chrome because every one of these phones have Chrome on it. Um, so let's do a test with Chrome. And let's see how that goes. And I've actually found that the, this test isn't super accurate because um, you know if you use a stock browser, it's the numbers are much higher. But if you use the same browsers, um, the numbers you know might be comparable. So we are using the same Chrome browser, which is actually my favorite browser, by the way. Uh, one of the things I like about Chrome browser is that uh, you can sign in with your Gmail, and it brings in all of your favorite bookmarks, um, all the sites you went to and stuff, it just automatically loads it up, whether you have it on your desktop, um, you know, even it, it even records your uh, passwords for various different sites. All you have to do is sign into your Chrome browser and uh, you know, you don't have to fill out your password anymore. Uh, one of the things I like about it, anyway, All right, in this test, um, you can see actually the Galaxy S5 one, uh, followed by the Note 4 and the OnePlus One. Uh, now, this test probably isn't super accurate because I did not use the same Chrome browser uh, for all of them. Um, looks like this is the latest Chrome browser, followed by this one, by this one. Um, so the test may be different, but um, interesting test. Um, now, these tests don't really sh tell everything about the phone. Uh, the Note 4 is still the fastest phone. Uh, of course, the larger quad, quad screen, uh, quad, 
Quad HD screen on the Note 4. Uh, could have something to do with the test uh, where it got lower numbers, but um, you know, clearly the OnePlus One won this contest uh, amazingly with an older 801 processor. And uh, this kind of shows you maybe perhaps uh, the difference between 801 and 805 processor isn't huge compared to uh, something like the Note 3's uh, 800, Snapdragon 800 versus the 801, which was, a, you know, you could see a much bigger performance improvements. Again, uh, this may have to do with the Quad HD screen, uh, maybe, you know, offsetting the performance on the phone. Uh, but, uh, you know, the Note 4 is still super fast, and I'm sure you could, you know, make it even faster. And also the OnePlus One runs uh, CM11, modded version of CM11, uh, which you could also install on your Note 4, and uh, that could probably make uh, the Note 4 much, much faster. And I should have an update on that. I'll do another test uh, and see how the Note 4 runs uh, with CM11 uh, when it comes out. Anyway, that was the benchmarking, just real life test. Um, you know, I didn't make up, I didn't modify anything. So there you have it, yeah. And thanks guys for watching this video. That was benchmarking test of the Galaxy Note 4 versus the Galaxy S5 and the OnePlus One. And as always, stay here on Android.